Hello friends, this video on DNA Flock Elements Part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Part with the stable oxidation state of the following uh, with the electronic configuration the ground state as 3D3. 3D3 we know is vanadium and for vanadium we know the stable oxidation state is plus 5. By the electronic configuration also we can make out that. 3D5 is manganese or manganese the plus 2 and plus 7 is the stable oxidation state. 3D8 is nickel and for nickel plus 2 is the oxidation state and 3D4 is chromium. So for chromium plus 3 and plus 6 is the stable oxidation state. Okay. Name the oxo metal ions in the of the first series of transition metal that is these ones first the transition metals in which the metal exhibit oxidation state equal to its group number. So let's see this. Scandium exhibits oxidation state of plus 3 and this is plus 3. This is 1. Titanium oxidation state of plus 4 and titanium is part of group 4. Manadium oxidation state of plus 5 part of group 5. Chromium plus 6 part of group 6. Manganese plus 7 group part of group 7. Iron plus 2 plus 3 part of group 8. Cobalt plus 2 plus 3 part of group 9. Nickel plus 2 part of group 10. No. Copper plus 2 part of group 11. No. Zinc plus 2 part of group 12. No. So these elements actually they exhibit oxidation state equal to their group number. First part is clear. But now they are saying that it has to be oxo metals anions. Okay, so let's see which of these has oxo metal anion. Okay, let's start with the manganese, the last one, Mn. So for manganese, the oxo metal anions we know is KmnO4 or I can say MnO4 minus. This is ion and this is oxo metal, that is metal with oxygen and anion. So manganese is done. Manganese is my one of the metal. The next was chromium. For chromium, do I have any oxo metal anion? Yes. CrO4 to minus. This is oxo metal anion. So chromium also is an element whose oxidation state is equal to group number and has oxo metal anions. The next is vanadium. Vanadium exhibit VO3 minus with oxidation state of plus 5. This is also oxo metal anion. Done. The next is titanium. Titanium we have oxo metal anion and that is TiO3 to minus plus 4 oxidation state group number 4 oxo metal anion. Next is scandium. Scandium actually the group number and the oxidation state matches but scandium does not have any oxo metal anions. It doesn't have any oxo metal anion. So scandium will not be the part of the list. Though scandium has oxidation state equal to the group number, but scandium will not be the part of the list because there is no oxo metal anion formed by scandium. Scandium typically react with chlorine or in fact uh, OH, but it doesn't have oxo metals anions. The next question is what is lanthanide contraction? What are the consequences of lanthanide contraction? So we know that due to poor shielding effect by 4f electrons, 4f orbitals, greater than expected decrease in the ionic radius of the elements in the lanthanide series take place from 57 to 71. From 57 actually to 71. These all, these lanthanides, there is a great decrease in the atomic size, 204, 31, 199. This decrease a lot. And with this, what happens if you compare the size of lanthanum and hafnum? If you see, there is a huge difference from 207 to 175. There is a huge difference. Okay, so element number 72, the atomic size is very less. And with this, there are consequences. The consequences are the properties of second and third transition series are almost same. These two, the, the properties are almost same because the size is almost same. The size, if you compare, is almost same. 
Also, the high density of post lanthanides element because these these elements now have smaller radius. Density is what mass by volume. Mass by volume. Since the density is uh, radius is less, the volume is less, and but the mass is yeah, increasing. So mass is more, the volume is less. So th these elements have high density. Okay. One more consequence: it decreases in the basic strength of hydroxides of the lanthanides with increase in the atomic number. Okay. Why? Because decrease in size decrease in size so the ions also the cation size is less of the lanthanides okay since the size is less it develops what more which character think ionic character ionic character actually decrease size so size is decreasing the ionic character also decrease and thus it gets more basic character as per fajan rule right between metal and oh the ionic character will decrease because the size has decreased now size has decreased ionic character decreased and the covalent character is more and it's more basic okay that's all we have for lanthanide contraction there's a huge decrease in atomic size from 57 you can say or 58 to 71 and with that the 72 element itself come up with the small size and the trend continues so the size is less atomic size is less in this series so their density is more because density is mass by volume and they have similar properties because now we see from here to here there is increase in size 160 to 175 from here to here there is no increase in size as you go down the group typically the size increase but here it is not following the trend Right, for example, more examples you can see. Hair to hair size increase, but hair to hair size is less actually. Hair to hair size increase, hair to hair size is less. Hair to hair size increase, but hair to hair size is less. Hair to hair size increase, but hair to hair size is less. Hair to hair size increase, hair to hair size less. This is all because of lanthanide contraction. What are the characteristics of transition elements and why are they called transition elements? Which of the D blocks elements are not regarded as transition elements? See, transition elements we have told are the elements which have partially filled D orbital in their stable or ionic form, right? Stable oxidation or say stable oxidation state or my elemental form. And these are transition metals because they are transition between the metals and non-metals, S and P block elements. And I, we have already told zinc, cadmium, and mercury. These three metals are d block elements but they are not called transition metals because in their elemental state and also in their oxidized state their d orbital is filled the question is in what way the electronic configuration of transition metal is different from the non transition metal very simple it's all about the d orbital so if the d orbital is filled it is non transition metal for example zinc Zinc, the electronic configuration is argon, 3d10, 4s2. This is my non transition metal. Talk about transition metal, uh, you can take, there are some examples chromium. Chromium example, if you take 3d5, 4s1. If you see, D can accommodate 10 electrons, it has only 5 electrons. Iron, 3d6, 4s2. D can accommodate 10 electrons, iron has only 6 electrons. So these are all transition metals. Okay. Explain the reasons. Transition metals in many of its compounds show paramagnetic nature. See, I told you paramagnetic nature is because of unpaired electron. Right? And D orbital can accommodate 10 electrons. And most of the transition metals, they have unpaired electrons. Since they have unpaired electrons, they show paramagnetic nature. Explain the reason why the enthalpy of atomization of transition metal is high. Enthalpy of atomization of transition metal is high, as I told, is because of strong metallic bond. Because of here also unpaired electron. This unpaired electron creates strong metallic bond, and this metallic bond is strong, so you need high energy to actually convert from solid to gas. And this is my enthalpy of atomization. Why this transition metals are colored compounds? Uh, the transition metals are colored because of again unpaired electron. This is also unpaired electron because of unpaired electron and DD transition, they are colored. 
please note for example zinc is not colored why because zinc the electronic configuration is 3d10 4s2 if you talk about this zinc this is how it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all this the d orbital is completely filled there is no scope or movement of electrons zinc is not colored okay transition metals and their many compound act as good catalyst again the reason for the good catalyst as i told you was the variable oxidation state variable oxidation state and they form unstable complex unstable complex this unstable complex is also because of again unpaired electrons and vacant d orbital and they also provide surface area for reaction again this is also because of unfilled d orbital so most of these uh, property of transition metal is actually because of unpaired d electron or unfilled d orbital what are interstitial compounds which one thank you visit examfia.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again